Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P, and welcome back to episode 15 now of Room Tour Project, the series where I show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. Special guest is going to be Joker Productions, who will be showing off all his tech behind the scenes and all the gear that powers his YouTube channel. Got a lot of crazy cool setups, I think you're going to like it, and also make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because everyone's always asking me, how do I submit my own setup to be on an episode of Room Tour Project? And I'm finally going to tell you guys, I'll make it a lot easier for you guys to submit your setup. So, got a lot of cool stuff coming, let's kick off episode 15. Starting off now, we have a nice triple monitor display with the giant TV over top as an overhead display. I love these kind of setups. And of course, having LED lights makes everything pop, makes it seem cooler. And I just feel like it makes everything more immersed when you're gaming, especially when you change the color to, you know, whatever kind of theme what you're playing around with. Taking a look inside the PC now, I'm really liking the color theme. He has four SSDs for a total of 1.5 terabytes plus an additional four terabytes of hard drive space. So that is just absolutely crazy. He's rocking an i7-4790K, of course, very popular. A Radeon 295X2, which has 8GB of RAM, and that is also liquid-cooled. And like before, I was talking about the displays. He has three Asus 24-inch 144Hz monitors, and that overhead monitor I was showing you guys before is a 42-inch LG TV. So I'm really liking his stuff here. The peripherals, he has a Razer Nogger 2014 mouse, and the keyboard is a Logitech G710 Plus Mechanical. Really liking this setup. Next up from Lucas, and he emailed this to me personally. He is an 18 year old modder from Sweden, and I absolutely love his design theme he has going on. White and black, key to my heart here. And look how everything is nicely set up. He's rocking three monitors, which I'll go over in a minute. A Monster 5960X, a triple 980Ti setup, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, Everything is just crazy on point here. He's got a Ducky Shine mini keyboard. Those monitors are a Dell U2414H. Very nice. Almost zero bezel there. And he has the Astro A40s and A50s for his audio. But just this setup is just the ideal setup. I love how everything is. Everything looks very clean. Just look at that PC case. Look how he modded that to make it look awesome. Can't complain here. And just his overall theme, like I said, I like it a lot. He does also uh, modding for other cases as well. So you can see a photo of that and just how clean everything is. Big props to this one. All right, so let's talk about this submission. Um, I love this guy. I wish I could switch lives with him. He actually was on the show in the past, but he made some changes definitely worth noting. His codename PC is the Titan Triple X, so the Titan XXX, and that is because he has three Titan X graphics cards inside his water-cooled rig. Looks beautiful. It's an Intel Core i7 5960X, an absolute beast of a machine he has and I'm just loving the way he has it set up it looks really nice a nice homey little station there I'm really liking the way he has it set up but what's really cool is how he fit all this inside the case it looks really nice um, I would love to showcase this just on its own but something else I want to show off is his entire entertainment setup or his theater his home theater he has in his house not too sure the size of that screen but it is absolutely massive, great for playing games, like as you can see, playing The Last of Us, watching uh, Iron Man, just a great entertainment setup with that huge display. Um, I am so jealous, but I love having this guy on because he always sets the bar. And having a little home theater in your house with his entire battle station, it's just, it's jaw-dropping. I love this guy, and I will always include his setup every time he makes a new addition because it's always something that's going to blow your mind. I want to show this setup off pretty quickly, but it is awesome. This is actually on the front page of the gaming subreddit, and rightfully so. This is in his bedroom. It must be nice to hang out, relax on the bed, and have this huge projector screen having displaying whatever you want. I'm not sure the size of it. It definitely looks over 100 inches, but it is really nice. And the great thing is, that's not the only noteworthy part. He also has his own battle station with three monitors. He has the one monitor in the middle as the usual typical display, and two monitors on the side. And it's great because it's like a little flight sim for him. I like the way he has it set up. Uh, really cool. I'm not too sure on the specs really, but I really wanted to show it off because it's something different, and I love bedroom setups like this with massive displays. So as I mentioned, I really like triple monitor displays, <laughs> because this submission, I can't even attempt to say that name, 
is absolutely flawless in every single way. Even looking at the cable management, it is very, very well neatly organized with the red LED lights in the back of the monitors to complement his red and black setup. Again, I don't really have much of these specs on this, I wish I did, but that is staying true to the black and red setup inside his PC. Two graphics cards, the red cables, everything looks absolutely nice. But I am just loving everything about this. He's got the Corsair Gaming K70, I believe, uh, keyboard with the Corsair Vengeance uh, M65 mouse. Again, black and red, the black and red uh, speakers, the Asus Rogue monitors. I am just in love. And of course, LED lights makes everything better. I'm always going to say that because it's true. But just props for having a crazy clean setup and... I'm just, I get jealous every time I look at these photos. These are goals, guys. Goals right here. And lastly, you guys know I love showing off personal setups or homemade setups. If you can make your own gaming desk, big, big shout out because that is very awesome. And as you can see, this guy started designing it all the way from the beginning with a CAD design, uh, started making his gaming desk by hand, and it came out absolutely beautifully. I don't have the specs or anything like that to show off the actual tech and the gear he has, but but I really wanted to show off his just overall desk because he made this himself, he, he thought of it, and he went out and made it. So I love setups like this, uh, and I really just appreciate that they can actually create their design. Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and thank you to Frank for having me here on his Battle Station and Setup Tour project. Really, really honored to be here. Been watching the show ever since the beginning, and I'm going to be taking you guys on a walkthrough today of my YouTube studio and gaming setup that I use over on my channel, Joker Productions, which is a PC gaming and computer hardware technology channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and jump in and take a look at my setup. So let's start things off with the desk. I just recently upgraded to this new desk to get something that matches the channel a little bit better and to give me a better workspace and filming area as the white desktop does show up a lot better on film when I'm making my videos. And I also like having the black drawers and legs underneath. It gives it a nice accent, I feel, and also goes with matching my channel's aesthetic, which is black and white, just like Frank's. So moving up on top of the desk, on the right side, I've got some of my collectibles over here, some Joker figures that people have given me over the years, as well as a bus that was a gift from my father, and my Max Payne 3 Collector's Edition statue. Coming on down from there, I've got my speakers underneath my main monitor. Those are the Creative T4 wireless speakers. That's a control pod there on the left for controlling the volume and changing different audio sources. Coming on down to the left of that, I've got my two audio interfaces. The one on the right is the Scarlet Solo by Focusrite. That's a XLR audio interface that works with my microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2035. This is essentially a preamp and power source for the microphone as it does require 48 volts of phantom power. To the left of that is my Objective 2 amplifier and ODAC from Mayflower Electronics. One of the best DACs I've ever tested and awesome amplifier. Can't recommend this thing enough. As far as my desktop peripherals are concerned, I have an AULA Wings of Liberty keyboard that I was sent to review recently. It uses blue mechanical switches. Decided to keep using it because I like the tactile feedback of the mechanical switches in this keyboard and it matches the desk really, really nice. I think it brings the theme together really well. My mouse is a Razer Mamba 2012 edition, Old Faithful. It's just been around for a long time now and I'm not going to get rid of the thing until it really breaks because it's just, it's really my mouse. It's like an extension of my arm. My monitors, as far as the secondary display is concerned, it's an ASUS VG248QE. That's a 2560 by 1080 144 hertz with one millisecond response time panel. I do have G-Sync installed in this monitor that I put in there myself during the limited amount of time when they were allowing users to buy the G-Sync kits by themselves and then install them in their VG248QEs. My main display is also a G-Sync monitor. It's the newly released Acer XB270HU. It's also 144 hertz, but this one is 27 inches and 2560 by 1440. The panel on it is also IPS as opposed to the VG248QE, which is a TN panel. So it's going to give me that better color reproduction for when I'm editing videos and doing color corrections, things like that. And games are going to run silky smooth with that 144 hertz refresh rate. 
Moving over to my PC now, my case is the Fractal Design Define R5, which I picked up for its amazing simple black aesthetic and for its ability to really be able to block out the excess noise of the PC so that my microphone is not picking that up when I'm recording videos or doing Twitch streams. My motherboard is the ASUS X99A and the CPU in there is the Intel i7-5820K 6-core beast with 12 threads i've got that overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz at 1.25 volts my memory on here is 16 gigabytes of corsair vengeance clocked at 2666 megahertz but i have gone ahead and manually overclocked that and have had it stable since i built this pc back in march at 3000 megahertz my graphics cards in here are a pair of GTX 980 Ti's with 6 gigabytes of VRAM on each card, which is still just 6 gigabytes effectively, but they are just absolutely beast using that GM200 processor. Uh, moving down from there, my power supply is an EVGA 1300 watt G2, which I picked up because it was, you know, one of the best power supplies out there, but also it was only $5 more than the 1000 watts, so I just went with the 1300 watt, why not? Moving around on the back side of the PC case, you can see some of my cable management here using the white sleeved EVGA cable set cables. You could buy those for about 80 or 90 bucks and they come matched with the specific power supply perfectly. And I've also got my storage back here for my SSDs. I've got a 500 gigabyte for my boot drive and a one terabyte Samsung for mass storage of games and also as a scratch drive for when I'm editing videos. My other storage drive in the front is just a standard four terabyte mechanical. As far as my camera is concerned, I use a Canon 700D or T5i as it's known here in the States. I use that in combination with the kit lens that comes along with the camera as well as a 50mm 1.8 lens. That's what I use primarily in my videos as I do a lot of portrait shots of me sitting in front of my PC and I like to get that nice bouquet effect in the background. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up episode 15 now of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed, and big thank you to Joker for Productions for showing off your setup and all the gear behind the scenes, which powers your YouTube channel. I will put his link in the description down below, so definitely check it out. Give him a sub if you want. And now, for the moment everyone's been asking me for, I want to tell you guys how to easily submit your setup to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. We're going to streamline this process, make it nice and easy. I want you guys to send me one high quality photo of your overall gaming setup to the email rtpsubmission at gmail.com. Send me one high quality photo and I'll probably get back to you within 24 hours or so telling you whether you were accepted or denied. Uh, don't get offended if you're denied. I'm just looking for a certain amount of things. And if you're accepted, I will give you, you know, the next step you should take in order to send me more photos. So I'm going to make it nice and easy rtpsubmission at gmail.com that email address will be in the description down below comment down below if you have any questions on any gear you saw that you want to know more about you can follow me on twitter at randomfrankp the whole process but while you're on twitter tweet at your favorite youtubers tell them you want to see their setup on an episode of room tour project and lastly if you haven't already please hit subscribe i've done a ton of tech videos and gaming setup videos in the past and i got a ton planned for the future some really cool stuff coming up soon so you're not going to want to miss out well, everybody, like I said, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed episode 15. Have a good day.